morning, sirs, madam. Welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. Day. Thank you for choosing Jurassic World. Feel free to take the transport to the main holiday complex. Changed your mind? Okay, that's your choice. Never mind, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Give me a break. If you need spares, get them from storage, not from one of the control panels. Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> of Veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hunt, this thing. The T-Rex is 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm -hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <gasps> you have a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Grant. My idea is after that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. How'd you do this? I'll show you.
use. Those gates ain't moving until they install the gears and whatnots. Which is fine by me, because they've only got herbivores on this side of them. You'll find a great dino fat just down there. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. Why don't you all sit down? Just 
Because one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA. The building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. Can I hear me? Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That is it. So I'm kind of trying to attempt this. It's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Come on, let's go. Well, these cages aren't going to be big enough. You could barely fit a goat in That's better. Now we just add cow. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? for a meal. Sorta.
fresh beef, huh? Oh, those raptors eat better than I do. Not go on. Tell my mother I love her. I have not been racked with such pain as this since I stubbed my toe. Someone else must operate the crane. My injuries are too severe. What are they doing? Feeding them. The essence of chaos. Transports for the afternoon. The driver. No, oh, no, 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 no driver. And they're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the oh. butterfly. The butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and Central Park. You get rain and stay Central. Look at this. See, see, I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I have to see the dinosaurs dropping. We know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure.
So she's suffering from meliotoxicity. Hey, did that taste nice, Sarah? Oh, uh, if you ever meet my daughter, don't tell her I named a six-ton dinosaur after her. are dilated. <laughs> Trace of lilac berries. Dr. Sattler, she's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. Distance? Watch out for the car! 
There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Not far to the visitor center, Dr. Sattler. <laughs> I don't fancy that dino's chances of balancing on the trunk. We better make another way over for her. Isn't a bridge here? Hmm. Ah, <coughs> oh, heck. When that tree fell down, it took out the gate control panel. Good as new. Oh man, there's supposed to be someone on duty here to release the ladder to that walkway. But you know, I can't blame him for wanting to get out of this weather. Huh. 
And I guess they took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. Once we get past this fence, we'll be back at the visitor center in no time. Huh. Where's the crank off the gate winch gone? I bet some greedy dino ate it. Sadler, this way. We can get to the visitor center through that hole. I told you how many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis. <laughs> Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead. All of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Seven o'clock, the East Dock.